Dave Carney was a late replacement for Luke Fitzgerald, who was suffering with a tummy bug. Carney came into a very strong-looking Leinster side that included O'Driscoll and Darcy in the centre, Jamie Heaslip back at number eight, and Rob Carney at full-back with Zane Kirshner switching to the wing. With Zebre having won earlier in the day, Connaught needed to do likewise to lift themselves off the bottom of the table. Pat Lamb included 21-year-old Jack Carty at out-half, making his first start for the Westerners. Ireland under-20 international Daryl Leader was selected at full-back for a Connaught team looking for back-to-back -back home wins for the first time since March. The visitors went into the game as overwhelming favourites, but it was Connaught who struck first in the 22nd minute. After collecting Owen Redden's kick ahead, the men in green went on the attack. Robbie Henshaw tore through the Leinster defence before sending Fionn Carr away on the wing and the man from Dublin wasn't going to be stopped. After a slow start to the game, this was exactly the injection of excitement to warm the Galway crowd on a very cold night. Carr's third try of the season. Carty was a little unlucky to see his conversion attempt slide just past the post, but Connaught led by five points to nil. Leinster were finding it hard to get into their rhythm and Connaught were presented with two difficult long-range penalties. On each occasion, Darrell Leader's kicks didn't quite have the gas to get there. Likewise, when Madigan had a penalty from halfway on 31 minutes, his direction was perfect, but his effort was inches short and clattered the crossbar before eventually being mopped up by the Connaught defence. Leinster did eventually make their mark on the scoreboard in the 34th minute when Andrew Brown was penalised for coming in from the side. The ref played advantage, but despite severe pressure close to the line, the visitors couldn't convert and the play was brought back. This time, Madigan was spot on and it was back to 5-3. At the other end, Connaught had a chance to stretch their lead when Tom Denton went off his feet. Carty with the chance for three points and significantly for the young man from Athlone, his first ever Pro 12 score. You could sense the tension in the out half before he kicked, but he had his confidence boosted when the ball went over to give Connaught an eight points to three halftime lead. In the 54th minute, Jimmy Gopperth replaced Madigan and within three minutes, he narrowed the gap after Connaught had strayed offside, his kick on target and the home side's lead down to 8-6. Leinster were dominating territorially and when he slipped broke off the back of the scrum he made good headway before eventually being hauled down and the referee somewhat harshly penalised Henshaw for not rolling away. It was in front of the posts and Gopperth dispatched it without too much fuss and for the first time in the match Leinster were ahead 9-8 with 62 minutes gone. Connaught had the chance to swing the pendulum back in their direction when Heaslip was penalised for a late challenge on substitute Dan Parks. Heaslip perhaps lucky to escape a yellow. The penalty was awarded where the ball landed, but Parks, maybe still a bit dazed, was off target with the kick. At the other end, Leinster sealed victory in somewhat controversial circumstances seven minutes from time when Gordon Darcy skipped over the line for Leinster's first try of the night. Time the referee asked the TMO's assistance. Jude, can you hear me? Yes, George. Can you tell me if the last pass was clear and obviously forward, please? Although it looked forward, the man in the van deemed that the evidence was inconclusive and the try stood much to the displeasure of the home supporters. Gopperth tagged on the extra two points to give Leinster a 16-8 lead. Perhaps the men in green not getting the rub of that colour when it came to some of the decisions on the night. However, as the full-time whistle blew, it was an important win for Leinster to maintain their momentum towards the top of the table. By contrast, Connaught sit bottom of the standings, but a couple of their younger players really impressed and for the second time this season, they've run Leinster very close. Final score at the sports ground, Connaught 8, Leinster 16.